Spider-Man, Snyder-Man, friendly neighborhood dealer man, spins a deal any size, you got good stuff, he will buy, hey there, here comes the Snyder-Man, here comes the Snyder-Man, here comes the Snyder-Man, Snyder-Man. Hey fellow collectors, I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art. And last night we had a fun time with Bill Cox on his market report where I made, uh, you know, I was kind of crowned dealer of the week from my uh, big sales at Comic-Con and in general with uh, the most, most sales and the, actually the most money. So I was kind of proud of that. And he asked me, oh, are people asking for your autograph? And I'm like, well, they want my autograph on a check. Yes, they do. Lots of checks going out. As Anthony's comic book art is always buying. So if you have collectibles for sale, from art to comic books and slabs, whatever. And I'm the most diversified dealer in the country. Uh, we have a whole warehouse full of collectibles and we welcome any offers if you have anything for sale and especially if you're in the area and you can come by Please come by and we will make you a very fair offer on your collectibles. All right. So what's going on is that we have a dueling dealers of comic book art for Monday because uh, Bill's going to Vegas. Really? What you going to do in Vegas? Bill. All right. So Bill's going to Vegas and uh, I think to see an old friend of his and, um, you know, he works very hard. Is the hardest working man in showbiz. I am the hardest working man in the comic art and comic biz, all right? So I have a show this weekend at the Wayne PAL. Uh, I'm supposed to show up there. And then next week we go down to Baltimore. So if you're going to be attending either one of those shows, either locally in Bergen County or at Baltimore, please bring me your best stuff uh, to sell and trade and I'll make you great offers. Okay, that's my I'm buying speech. Now, it's Bill Cox's Comic Art Live YouTube channel, The Dueling Dealers of Comic Book Art. And this will be uh, episode 41. 41. Just the way I like them. All right, so this we decided to do uh, a 12 round, two piece each. So uh, not in any particular order because I don't like to go in order. We have a, now the first uh, six rounds are gonna be a thousand and under and the next uh, six rounds are gonna be 2000 and under. So, but I've kept it very claimy, very claimy, very claimy. Very claimy because I'm looking to do some business and it's all new stuff, all new stuff. And then next I'm working on the Humberto Ramos big deal that I have a whole box of his art. Me and Bill were talking about doing a, an art drop, but he's going out of town and then we're gonna sneak this Dueling Dealers in on Monday at nine, okay? So I have a Joe Phillips uh, Surfer Annual six page and it's got Silver Surfer and the first appearance of Legacy all over it. And then I have a Mark Bagley Venom page with Venom all over it. And then Gwen, I think it's Gwen. Ben Parker, Flint Marco, and I think it's Gwen. Okay. It's hard to tell sometimes with Mark's girls. All right, so then another Mark Bagley page. I got three in a row here, uh, but this is from uh, Life Story. Spider-Man life story, and it's the death of a major character. All right, so Venom, Spider-Man, and this is Hulk smash Bugman. And it's got a lot of bricks. That's a running joke on Dueling Dealers. Bricks. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Man, lots of bricks. And this is a two-piece. Uh, it's got a Hulk versus Spider-Man. Pencils by Mark Bagley, and then the Scott Hanna inks on a separate board. Now, this is kind of a special piece. I like it. 
It's a Bob Layton Iron Man 254 and it's just all Taskmaster. Wow. And then here's a Jim Apparel Splash from Green Arrow 94. It's got Green Arrow and... Hmm, I don't know if he's still called Speedy, but his other Green Arrow. Now, if you're like uh, the Girl Art by the Superstar Girl Art, a woman artist, I should say, woman artist, Amanda Connor. This is a uh, just immensely talented page. I mean, artist, uh, really cool to look at. I bet you my wife would love this. I should show her this. Eh, trying to sell it first. All right, Amanda Connor Supergirl page. And then I have a couple, I I'm trying to do these in uh, round by round with a little thought mixed in, just a little. Little, little pinch of thought mixed in. All right, so this is kind of the indie round. This is an Eric Palgoon page. Really nice, got a lot of stuff going on. Very indie looking uh, from that star character and artist from that book. And then this guy, wow, talk about superstars. Mark Silvestri. And this is a murder page by Hunter, uh, from Hunter Killer. And that really looks like Mark Silvestri art because Joe Williams, Joe Weems, inked it. All right, now this is kind of strange in the way that a guy that didn't do too much Marvel work, uh, Paul Chadwick. Now this is a Dazzler page and it's got beast and action and, and Dazzler getting hypnotized and and it's inked by Romeo Tangal, so it looks like Bronze Age Marvel art. Anything Tangal inked, it looked like he's very bronzy. I, I I like him. You know, when he was inking George Perez, that really just that looks like George Perez art. You know, um, and that's you know that's true of a lot of art combinations where the uh, the inker actually kind of formulated or solidified or actually, ah, what is the word? You know, uh, qualified the look of the of a artist and then that artist went on to superstardom like uh, George Perez on the Titans or Klaus Janssen on Frank Miller, you know, or Okay, so Marvel Comics Presents, I got a really killer page. It's got a kablong on it. I love kablongs. I love words, uh, you know, sound effects that are actually inked in the art. All the, so this very Bronze Age Jim Mooney Submariner piece with Submariner action. Now this page, uh, again, curated to butts, all stuff that I picked up, fresh, 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 cloak and dagger. Now you say, ah, oh, Cloak and Dagger, right? But it's got Spider-Man and Ghost Rider and Cloak and Dagger all fighting these demons. So it's really cool. Very, you know, quality page. And then I got an Iron Man, George Tuska cover recreation with a Mandarin. Mandarin is so hot right now. They even have a special Mandarin uh, prequel on Disney Plus with Gandhi all in it. You know, he's Gandhi. Gandhi is a... Uh, is the Mandarin. So now this one, it's got a layout. It says that the credits say layout by Bob Brown, uh, pencils by Murphy Anderson and inks by Murphy Anderson. So it's a Murphy Anderson page as far as I'm concerned. And it's very inexpensive. It's got a Superboy 167 page. Uh, this is Silver Age art, right? 1970. Is that still 12 cents? Mm, no, it's 15 cent issue, 15 cent issue. But it, it's got Superboy at the circus. It's got a sad clown, a lion, and elephants. It's cool. I like it. I always like Superboy. All right. And now this one uh, to carry the DC theme. Uh, one step further is a Green Lantern page and it's got, this is the first appearance of fatality, she's called. The, the alien chick with the uh, power staff who likes killing Green Lanterns for some reason. 
She's not going to be satisfied with cuts and bruises. She's out for blood, making Kyle Rayner's day a bad one. All right, now this one is a non-comic book art uh, round because it's got Antonio Proheus, Spy versus Spy. Now this is in the paperback format. That's why I say that. So it's a two panel pay, uh, page from the, the paperback format of when they do a mad look at Spy versus Spy and those ones. And then this one is a Mignola uh, story illustration. It's called Baltimore Novel Illustration by Mike Mignola, page 31. And it just looks, it looks like Mike Mignola art. It's not Hellboy, but it, it is Mike Mignola art. I remember years ago, uh, he was selling those, and I got to him at uh, Baltimore, and I'm like, uh, how much you want for these? And he's like, a oh, 100 bucks. Yeah, right. And, okay, now on this round, we got Marvel Legend Joe Sinnott, a Dracula commission, right? And that's like an eight by 10. And then a guy who really, really kind of took the reins of the look of Marvel uh, when he was working in his prime, Ron Friends. And this is a Silver Surfer versus Dark Phoenix, 11 by 17 commission. And then, all right, we got some Batman, Sean Cohen Murphy, Harley Quinn, wow. And I'll, I'm gonna show this. It's got something to do with this, okay? It's got something to do with that. And then I got another one that's got something to do with that. Okay, and the signed prints come with it. So I'll look for those. And some more Batman, we got a JG, uh, I mean, uh, not JG, uh, uh, Jose Garcia Lopez, uh, Two-Face pencil page. It says from Batman 66. So it's got that fun moving and grooving 1966 style. And then last but not least, uh, only in my affections, uh, he is least in my affections, yes, is Bill Sienkiewicz, uh, Bat, Bat Girl. It's kind of a design art thing because this doesn't look like a Bat Girl that I know. It's, it's cool though. So, a Bill Sienkiewicz Batgirl piece, and that's what we got for Doing Deals of Comic Book Art uh, this Monday on Bill Cox's Comic Art Live YouTube channel. And uh, we're going off at 9 o'clock on Monday because Bill's going to take a few days off and go to Vegas. And then what happens in Vegas well, stays in Vegas. I don't know what happens in Vegas. All I ever did was go there and play the World Series and get bad beat. So, that's what I... Uh, that's what I go to Vegas for. Did I do that uh, autograph joke? They want my autograph, they get my autograph on a check. I did that. Wow, it's been so long ago, I couldn't remember. <laughs> so, <laughs> look how cute my mom was. Look at that. She's so cute. And look at me. This is my first national press I ever got. I was 10 years old. All right, it's the only family picture we ever had. Anyway, I am Anthony's comic book art and I will be in Wayne this weekend and then doing deal as a comic book art on Monday and then Baltimore next week. So if you got stuff to come sell me in Baltimore, come get my autograph. Ha <laughs> ha look at all that, yeah. All right, so I'm Anthony with Anthony's comic book art. Keep calm, keep collecting and we will see you Monday.